I'm so grateful to have you all here. Um, our next student is an amazing comic. He's grown so much of the course of this class, coming all the way down from Inglewood, California. Please welcome to the stage, Jay Song. Be amazing. The male bows poking wide on the candy leg trunk. Open screens on me. I'm sleeping with the legs. I'm on the mission for dime pieces. That scream is a shout of love for my family, for this great country, and because I learned so English. <laughs> What's going on, ladies? A lot of fine ladies in the audience tonight. Somebody call me. Somebody call me. See what I mean? Back in 1973, my, fa my father, he just happened to watch uh, The Wizard of Oz one day. And after the movie, he got real excited, ran all the way home out of breath, wanted to share that scene, The Yellow Brick Road, you know, with my mom. Now, he convinced my mom that the roads were paved with gold in America. <laughs> now, it's not my mom's fault. You know, she's a traditional Korean woman. Whatever her husband says, you know, she's supposed to say, okay, follow his ways. But I'm thinking, okay, it's not to the next town, but halfway across the world. I'm like, Dad, are you kidding me? <laughs> Thank goodness we flew here by airplane. <laughs> not by boat. Nobody in the family knew how to swim, and I'm pretty sure we would have all drowned and ended up fish food. <laughs> now, we had a layover in Hawaii, and, uh, whew, excuse me, a little harder than you think. So, we ended up in Hawaii, layover there. I met my first American little girl. She came over to me. She said, hello. And I didn't know any English at the time. And I responded, Roo! <laughs> she smiled and she giggled. She said, my name is Marie. Now this time I responded, Roo! Roo! Ow! <laughs> now, that planted a seed for my roof roof ways in my new country. So my dad heard all this ruckus. He came over. He grabbed me. We boarded a, you know, the plane to our final destination, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. <laughs> and I'm thinking, a couple years later, I find out the United States of America has 50 states. <laughs> we got Florida, California, oh, and we did have a layover in Hawaii. I would have loved to learn how to surf, but instead, Dad chose Pennsylvania. <laughs> and now it's cold, it's snowy. When I turned adolescent, I found out certain body parts shrink in the cold. <laughs> Dad, thank you. <laughs> so uh, I came home from school one day, and I heard all this ruckus. And uh, my parents, they're arguing. And I'm like, what's going on? So all of a sudden, the arguing became real silent. So I tiptoed up to their bedroom, just in time to witness my five foot nothing mom karate chop my dad in his throat. <laughs> she followed that up with a poop kick to the chin. I'm there. I'm scared. I think I peed my pants that day. <laughs> so it didn't stop there, folks. My dad's knocked out on the floor. He fell like a bag of, you know, rice. <laughs> and she goes into this celebratory dance. <laughs> and she's mumbling. I float. I float like a butterfly. I sting like a bee. Fool, you better not lie to me, especially about any paved roads. 
So I'm scared of my mom. <laughs> Her inner Bruce Lee, Muhammad Ali, and the short dragon lady came out all at one time. <laughs> For the next couple years, I was a golden child in the family. <laughs> I was a perfect son. Then I turned 18. I transformed into an Americanized teenager. <laughs> so, in high school, I can't believe it. Marie that I met at the airport in Hawaii, she attended the same high school. No way. I'm thinking, stalker, stalker <laughs> alert. <laughs> So one day at school, she saw me. I didn't see her. She gave a note to her older sister, uh, Meredith, and that note had her telephone number on it. So she gave me the note. So the note had the number. I called the house the next day. Her dad answers the phone. Hello? Hello, is uh, Sherry there? Who's calling? <laughs> Jay? Hmm? Then he goes, are you black? <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm confused. <laughs> I thought I was Korean. <laughs> you sound real black to me. <laughs> and I'm thinking, I sound like the color black. <laughs> what does the color black sound like? <laughs> I thought I was colored Korean. <laughs> so then next, he's like, you know what? I still don't believe you, son. Tell you what, come on over this Saturday for dinner. Now, I think I peed for the second time when he <laughs> yelled at me. I was reluctant to go to dinner, but some made me go. So Saturday came, I came knocking on the door. He answered, big old smile. And I'm thinking, man, is he smiling because Korean Jay showed up at the door? <laughs> so then he lets me in. We sit down at the um, dinner table, nice spread. We got fried chicken, macaroni and cheese, collard greens, and a bowl of rice. <laughs> we got the forks, knives, spoons, and one pair of chopsticks. <laughs> I'm thinking, hmm, for the guest of honor? <laughs> I went to town on that food, chopstick style and everything, fried chicken, ate it with the chopsticks, with the skills that I learned and honed in the motherland. Now, he walked me to the door, gave me his blessing to date his uh, daughter, Marie. And uh, to this day, I want to thank Marie. She gave me that first delicious slice of that mmm, 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 American pie. <laughs> now, my life has been better than any Hollywood movie I could have ever dreamed of. Matter of fact, it inspired me to make a sequel to The Wizard of Oz, and it's going to start a Korean family, and it's coming out to a theater near you. Thank you, America. Give it up for Jay, everyone.